Hello and welcome. My name is Eddie Topic. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International. I'd like to offer you some charts today, foreign exchange ones. And the first one I'd like to look at is the euro against the dollar. Now, if we look at this chart, we can see, okay, if you're looking to capture the recent three-day bullish morning star pattern in the least offensive manner, then you would have done what happened yesterday, a bearish harami. However, that doesn't mean the action of yesterday did not have value. The high and low were captured by the two recently highlighted support and resistance levels. Top side, the March 2018 low at 121.52, and below the rising short short medium moving average, currently 120.83. So far today, a reactionary move back upwards, but not as yet testing the 121.52 level. The next chart to look at is cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A continued follow on higher to the recent bull hammer pattern and a new high not seen since April 2018. It was an interesting move up once more to the same dynamic resistance overhead we have seen since November last year. The middle time, currently 137.21, of the important late June to late September bullish shift pitchfork before pulling back down and away from it. This pitchfork has run the market's bullish angle of attack since late September and don't look happy giving up the middle time. Finally, please remember that recent highs have been around this middle time and there's not much above that until the 140 even area. And even then, it's not that strong up there. So far today, a fresh bullish action, looking like a bullish white marabozo and not only making another new recent high, but seriously penetrating up beyond that middle time. The next chart to look at is Euro against Earth. A bearish engulfing pattern yesterday and a significant one. It looks like a vehement verification of the break lower for the extended, if imperfect, sideways triangle formed since April 2020. The market punched down through the recent support of the 50% Fibonacci line of the December 2019 to March 2020 move at 88.89. It seems we are now on the way to try for target X, the target for the double top formed in mid-December. That would be in the 87.50 area should also now start looking at a target on the downside for the sideways triangle and even perhaps the head and shoulders top form between March to April 2020. So far today, a really interesting follow-on to yesterday's break lower. The lowest have been since May 2020. The next chart to look at is the US dollar against the Indian rupee. A bearish opening long black marabozo yesterday. A really interesting one as it penetrated just the 2020 uptrend currently at 72.93 and the nearby lesser Fibonacci 72.89 had together recently held up the market. Prices ended up closing right on the trend line, which didn't help anyone that much. So far today, a pullback up so far. Not by much, but within the strictures of the corral formed of the now broken 2020 uptrend and the overhead broken also 2018 uptrend currently at 73.40. The last chart to look at today is the US dollar against the Brazilian real. An immediate countering combined bearish army and bearish opening black marabozo yesterday. Another, in some ways, not unexpected pattern after the recent moves up to test the overhead, seemingly quite stiff resistance made up of the combination of flatlining, medium moving average, currently 538.97, the long moving average, currently 539.06, plus two 50% Fibonacci levels at 539.29 and 540.85. I've mentioned already that it would be interesting to see what happens if the market tangles with them. It seems that the first round goes to the overhead resistances. Meanwhile, below we have some support at 525.67 and 520.31, but the middle time of the late October 2020 to early January 2021 bearish pitch, shift pitchfork, currently at 516.04, is the first substantial support, but it is slipping lower each day. That about wraps it up. So in the meantime, good trading and stay safe in the markets and in real life.